Shapeshifters is in the building and Deo Upamecano is the first SBC available. Now, let's just take a second here because Shapeshifters looks mental. If there's any cards you want me to review tonight, drop a comment down below. Drop a cheeky sub while you're down there. But Deo Upamecano, 5 star, 4 star. 4 squads to get him done is not cheap, but this card has some ridiculous potential. Cam center forward, center mid. This is why Shapeshifters is loved by so many oh, so many people in the community, myself included. I'm sure you guys too. It's just the crazy, weird cards that you just never expect. You get an opportunity to try out the mad players in weird positions, and I love it. Now, look at the stats on this man. Okay, not super meta with a lack of agility, but still, we've got the pace. Phenomenal shooting for a center mid. The passing, seriously no complaints. 97 composure. The reactions, 96. 99 strength, 95 aggression. This man is going to be an absolute animal. Bullying your opponents. Finesse shot and flare passes as well. Defending, of course, is weak. That tends to be what happens with, well, not with all of them, but most of the shapes of the boys have their main stat on their normal card, the lowest on their altered position one. But this card looks mad. Five star skills, you know what I'm getting. Pogba flashback, juiced vibes from this man. That Pogba flashback played ridiculous amount of games for myself. He was an absolute tank. Great shooting, great all around the park. Not super meta in the dribbling, especially the agility and balance, but could do it all with a five star. And that is what this card is looking like here. Let me know your initial impressions, because I am excited for this one. Chem style, I honestly don't know. I'm going to load up Fitbit and I get really overwhelmed by all the crazy looking cards, aren't I? We got Icons, we got VVD CDM 98 overall, we got Rudiger Striker. Like, what? Okay, so we're looking at a shadow for the boy. It makes sense. Boost the pace and the defending. I'm going to play him as a box to box center mid because it's definitely where you should be playing him. Uh, basically, see how he feels in game without really tweaking the dribbling stats. Mares Striker as well. Is he 5 star, 5 star? He is. Okay, I just stopped looking at this, boys. Okay, focus time. Let's do this. Shapeshift the season. Come on. Oh, he's getting sweaty. You know, I've got to respect it. Is that... What? How is my man got him already? Well done. Well played, boys. He's pressing early doors. Number 14, Upa Mercado on the counter attack. Hit that right wing, my boy. Run now. Utilize that pace and that stride. He's not lengthy, boys. But it doesn't matter. We get the assist. We're getting sweaty. He's getting sweaty. And we are back in this one. Day up. A couple of step overs. He's a big, big man. Come on now. Does he have the pace here to power his way through? I think he does. Inches wide. If I green time that, it's probably nesting in the far post. But so far, he's looking like a powerhouse. Doing exactly what I wanted to do. We just need to find the back of the net. Oh, it's just too easy. The boys part way. Vinny Jr. gets the goal. Benz, that's big. At your feet. Trevella. You know what? I reckon the shooting's not going to be bad. He is ridiculous. There's like 90s across the board. So definitely don't be shy to take a part. Oh, get lucky. Go on. Boys, he's just absolutely decked somebody as well. I rushed the shot. Win that. Yes, let's go. Pace isn't bad. I would have preferred him to be lengthy. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like he would just feel that much more powerful in game. But being controlled is fine. It's big from Sergio. Uber Meccano. A little bit slow in that aspect. You're probably going to notice that to be fair, boys. The skill moves is great to have. But you do need decent agility to be able to feel like you're, you know, pinging or gliding across the pitch. Open McCann is a little bit on the slow side. So keep that in mind when you're skilling with the boy. Uh, however, that's not bad. One thing I'm noticing straight away, boys, is the passing being very, very solid. Open McCann now. Oh, we green timed it. Get lucky. Ricochets, boys. There's bodies everywhere. Day out at your feet. He's hit the woodwork. Of course he has, boys. It's a Morsi player view. That's all we do around here. All right, boys. Let's turn up and start to cook in this second half. My opponent's pretty decent. He knows what he's doing. However, we've had the better of the chances, and we need to get an equaliser to push this game forward. Nah. Nah, boys. What have I just seen? I made the perfect tackle. How has he got away with that, man? Ah, he gets a fourth. Come on. Not bad. Keeping the ball at pace. One thing for sure is going to be the strength on your side. However, as you could see in that aspect, technical dribbling, not the boy's strong point. He's just so stocky. Play him in now. Upa, Inter Benz. Green time. 
go back. Come on. We are still in this game, boys. Tell you one thing, 100% that I cannot fault about Uber Meccano, the passing. He's been a great playmaker in that centre mid role. That's nice. On a plate. Got to be a goal, boys. And it is 4-3. Game on. Hooper in the air. I mean, he wins the late, but does come off any junior, though. Powerhouse plays from Dale Upa Meccano. Big fan over here. Oh, what a ball. Benzema near post. I've absolutely fluffed it. Go on, let's hit the line a little bit. Let's stride. So you don't really have, like, crazy acceleration with a card. He's very controlled. And he's a big man. You can see by the physique there, boys. Doing technical dribbling, like RB control. Not very quick. Not very snappy. But what he does have is the physical side of the game. So if you're kind of, like, tussling with a player, you're more than likely coming away with the ball. Okay, that wasn't too shabby. There's a lot of bodies around me as well, boys. And we are doing bits with a card. Oh, I thought maybe if he was lengthy there, the stride would have been too much and we definitely would have got past my opponent's defence. But because he's controlled and a bit laboured with the dribbling. Get Uber Meccano on side. Oh, okay. Okay, footwork there was a bit mad. I'll take that. Mane pokes it home. Come on. There we go. Upa Makano gets his goal. Nice little heel the heel ball roll on the edge of the box. You know, I'll take it. And the power in the strike is too much of my opponent. So Deot the tank. Upa Makano. An real SBC. Three assists and one goal. However, I will say he feels like he's got an identity crisis. What position should he be playing in? I don't think you should be using him as a centre forward or a cam. I feel like maybe it's just like a standard out and out centre mid. Use him as the box to box almost. Just basically get the ball to his feet. Use the physical side of the game and just ping passes. You can stride forward even though he's not lengthy or explosive. Control isn't too shabby. But don't do anything too technical with the man. Because he feels a little bit on the stockier side. That's what you expect. Especially with the body type that he has. It kind of comes with the territory. The dribbling though. Not bad once it's at his feet. The passing, definitely a strong point. And the shooting, you should be able to score some screamers with him. We did get a nice goal in the end. I just think he's a tanky powerhouse midfielder. But for the price, is he worth it? 462k. It's a tough one, man. I feel like there's probably better cards on the market. Because he doesn't feel like that good in-game because of the body type, maybe. He was a little bit out of place in the midfield. I'm probably going to say he's not worth it, which might be a bit, you know, controversial looking at Footbin. I think you're probably better off saving the fodder or f saving your coins for future SBCs. The only, re like, the only reason I would do this is if you're a Bayern fan, if you've got loads of Bundesliga players and you want to strengthen your Bundesliga team, this is a great card for that. But for people like myself, hybrids, a lot of different leagues, a lot of La Liga and Premier League, I'd say it's definitely an avoid, boy. It's not worth building your team around him. But a very nice card and a great promo and a great start to the promo. Let me know your opinions down below if you agree with me or disagree. I'll be more subscribing if you're new. I'll catch you later.